funny thing is, man, Ike has no idea we're buying this thing right now. The door handle's tiny. <laughs> Coming in hot. Oh my God. In today's episode of Cars and Cameras, Charles and I are buying the cheapest Japanese K truck on the market. It's rough around the edges, but the price is right. And we're gonna be surprising Ike with it as well. We have some good ideas on what direction we wanna take on this build, but let us know down in the comments what you wanna see and uh, enjoy the episode. So we're about two minutes out, taking a look at this K truck. It's a 92 Mitsubishi, I think it runs. This is a guy, we've been to his place before. He gave us an old uh, Honda Odyssey that's in parts right now. But uh, looking forward to checking it out. All right, driving in. Oh, I oh. see him. All right, Charles is checking it out. It's got a cracked windshield, but I'm sure we can replace it with plexiglass or something. But check it out. What do you think, man? Oh, I've never looked Pretty at Pretty sweet, isn't it? I really like it. All the bed sides fold down and everything. Yep. Mike says that's how you access the engine, right there and right here. And from what I'm seeing, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Mitsubishi Mighty. Oh, I like it. Look how tight oh, that okay. rear so end it's is. A, oh, it's had man. a lift put on it. Oh, yeah. Because I've noticed it's got, it's got new springs up front. So the struts have had taller springs. Oh, okay. Like okay. So I like it. Yeah, these are, these might need, we might need to reinforce that with like a bolt and spacer. But yeah. Hey, let's see if we can take it for a test drive. All right, so it's in neutral, handbrake off. I don't have a seatbelt. Okay. It's stuck under, it's so be extra good. safe. Hey, it's caught under the seat, but we'll get it. Oh, this is We knew. truck is coming home with us. <laughs> oh lord. Failed it. Now for the million dollar question, is it going to completely ruin my trailer? The answer is maybe. It's pretty close to bottoming out already, just sitting stationary, man. Well, 
All right, yeah, no, that's fine. You know, you made a good purchase when you gotta look back at it every time you park. We're grabbing some food and headed home. I also threw in a three-wheeler. We'll show you when we get home. It's home. It's home. All right, so uh, we're gonna rip this thing around, but we gotta do one thing first. There's rear wheels. The rear tires are on backwards. Yep. <laughs> Those reverse mounted wheels. Are we gonna we gotta fix that? Yeah, we'll fix it real quick. But look how tiny that drive shaft is. The rear end is tiny. The transmission's tiny. It's even got a tiny alternator on there. The door handle's tiny. <laughs> it's literally if there was a truck, flatbed, go kart hauler, this is it. Oh hey. Oh, the other, mirror. the other mirror. It's been modified a little bit, but I think it fix it. Yeah, it's one good thread. One good thread. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Weight reduction. We got here just in the nick of time. You might, you might be able to see. Oh, we got a tail light out. Ground issue, maybe. But it's raining, as you can tell. Oh. oh, no reverse light, but that's all right. Does the windshield wiper work? Oh, yes. That means we can drive it in the rain. How, uh, how confident do you feel in your new purchase? Oh, right now, 100%. Oh, I'm, yeah, me too. 113. Give me 10 minutes on the Grand Prix and... Uh, Just don't flip it. We got the high center. We got the high center uh, roof package going on. It's idling kind of funny, but you can always fix it with a yeah. boost engine or something. <laughs> don't bad. All right, let's uh, remove the three-wheeler. So yeah, the I, secret. Yeah, the secret. Yeah, we don't want oh, them. That's all right. No, Mike, it's a, uh, Mike donated this giant three-wheeler to us as well. We can use it for... This is Isaac's new mobility scooter. Yeah. We're, we're going to put a cup holder on it. Yeah, he's going to be able to cruise around on this thing, make sure we're working while he's recovering. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, the rain's getting a little heavy yeah, here. So Ike is getting in in two or three hours, and uh, Charles and I are going to take this thing out for a rip before he gets here, but we're going to figure out where to park it so when he comes in, he's going to be surprised. We don't break it before he gets here. That might be a black widow. Okay. Not for long. So, as far as I know, all of these came in white except for the fire trucks, which are awesome, but they never came to the United States. Someone painted it red, did a sloppy job. So, we can paint it in the future. It, it, it definitely needed a quart of oil. Yeah, that was but very smart thinking. That's okay. It, it had a quart and a half already in it, so it definitely was wet in there, but. Oof, that's okay. Get we didn't keep. We didn't have it up in the ripem, so we'll be all right. You want to drive first? What's your? It's your. It's your. Uh, what is it? It's your off-road vehicle. Your land. You. It's, want a, it's a company truck, man. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> cool. We're we're in rewind. Oh yeah. I feel, I feel like we might need a helmet. <laughs> That's just my seatbelt outside the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it died. What? I have my foot in. All right, so you want to do a Grand Prix? Dude, yeah, we're definitely doing a All Grand right. Prix lap. Oh, boy. He's getting it. He I put a third the gear. third on the turn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's pretty smooth, considering That's how bad this oh track is. Yeah. This is Hondukey Hollow right here. Yeah. Going to third gear. Yeah. Oh, oh boy! All right, we're gonna go back in a second for the river crossing. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Dude, this is so much fun. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, uh, this is gonna be really interesting yeah, on how you. Oh my, yeah, Lanta. Okay. Yes, <laughs> you like. All right, that horn is kind of annoying. We might. We're just gonna unplug that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got it. But remember, there's that dip right there on the left. I was just gonna go straight. Oh down okay. And All right. Lean. Oh my goodness, we might flip this thing no, forward. Good, bro. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to change the shorts. Yeah. Dude, that looks so funny on this track. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're asking for trouble, man. Dude, I, I, we're pushing it, but but just the look of that thing going around the track is so funny. You pulled, you pulled both. And one, and one. Oh my goodness. We're, we made it over, dude. We bottomed out for sure. Hold on. Drive shaft is still in the chat. No, but we definitely bottomed out somewhere. I'm not sure, but that was... <laughs> Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter, it's in the past. Yeah, we're going. And uh, on your right, oh. you're coming up on-, on Oh yeah, right. and uh, where's Greg's drone? Yeah, on your right, you're coming up on uh, Redbeard's drone tree. Yep. So uh, Redbeard's we'll, drone farm. Yep, that? Redbeard's drone farm. You've got a, a very rare drone tree. Yeah, no, and I, I don't hear any funky noises out of the gearbox or anything, so. Let's park it and have a look. Let's see if something's rattling in the suspension. Uh-oh. Uh, All right, so we already have... Uh, oh, snap. Yeah, good. we already need a seal. Dude, where are we going to get a seal for a 1992 Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, who knows what? I don't know. It's... Oh, crap. All right, let's All get right. back to the shop. Buddy. Yeah, at least it's just gear oil, but still, we're going to have to... All right, it might be Mike in the, uh, the inner diameter of the uh, tail shaft. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Is it is it stalling itself out? I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! At least we made it to the top of the hill, but. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'll push. Is it? We got a problem if, if it's not leaking anymore. It's, st it's still leaking. Okay. All right, so that could have something. Oh, no, we're good. That could have something to do with it right there. Oh, it getting hot? You know what? No, we'll just put some gas in it. Oh. Oh, well, it's We'll on, start there. It's because, yeah, it's on end. End of drive. Yeah, that was the end of the drive. Duh. Let's try that. Yeah, so I undid the ratchet strap just to see. But yeah, that is definitely. Yeah, that's not that. That's not awesome. No, and it, and it kind of, like, what it did is it's, it's, oh gosh. Wow, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Ah, I might get a pry bar. This thing is actually, this is supposed to be on top of that. So it's, it's down and back a little bit. So I'll yeah. get it back into its proper position and I guess re-ratchet strap it, but we, we're gonna have to do something. We can make a mount for it real Yeah, quick. We, we can make a mount. I did some Google searching and I think this is United States domestic market car, truck, whatever, because for a couple of reasons, they were sold in the United States originally. So not sold in Japan and then brought to the US, but sold in the United States as the mighty Mitzi from 84 to 91 or 92. Uh, that makes me think that it's a USDM truck. Uh, you got left-hand drive, which also makes me think it's USDM. Because uh, for a long time, these were not legal on the street. But I think literally two years ago, uh, there's legislation got passed in North Carolina as to where you can apply, uh, get them inspected, and apply to get a title for these to be road legal on the street. Of course, that is our goal with this project. Uh, do an engine swap, either drop it, widen it, put a big street bike engine, or go the other route. Widen it, lift it maybe four-wheel drive go all-out recovery vehicle, but uh, street legal would be a huge 
bonus for this thing. So I uh, got to do some more research, but I think I got to provide the bill of sale, get it inspected by someone at the uh, title office, and we'll go from there. So these things came with an inline two or an inline three. I think some of them are four cylinders. This is an inline three. And uh, it was either a 550 or a 660. This is a 550 based on the overall length. Uh, makes me think it's one of the 550 models. So my neighbor, Charlie, he's an old guy who does some hunting back here. He's dropping off some venison. I'm gonna get his reaction. <laughs> so I put about a gallon of gas in this thing. Let's see what happens. That's so weird how the... Yeah. <laughs> I think she fired up, but I think she fired up within that first crank. Oh, does the gas gauge not work? Yeah, gas gauge doesn't work. Okay. Ha. Here, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if it'll run. Okay. It runs. Ah, uh, Ike just rolled by. Yeah. I bet you he saw it. He Crap. Ah. Uh, no, it's all right, man. No, drive rail's coming back, folks. Coming and it back. Might have some, maybe some. Uh, uh, we're just gonna let you guys figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it from the road. Yeah, yeah. You want to sit in it? Or try to. Oh yeah. Okay. Did you get it cheaper? Yeah. Twenty-four. It's a steal. Well, it's hey. a little rough around the edges, yeah. man. And the, the transmission mount is a ratchet strap. That we already had to fix once. Cars and cameras approved. Exactly. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna sit in it, but I yeah, can't man. drive it. No, you're good. You're good. Here. Do I need that? Yeah, there's a hole under there. Isn't it awesome? I love it. It is so cool. <laughs> it's even got the extended headroom edition. It's got a headliner. Yeah. This thing's nice. Yeah. So we're gonna. It's only got 25 miles per hour on the speedo, dude. It's got the governor in it. I haven't figured out how to get rid of it yet, but yeah, top speed is about 23. All right. Dude, turn signals work, brakes kind of work. Uh-huh. Brake lights kind of work. Did y'all take it on the Grand Prix? Picked Are you all right? Picked up a load. Yeah, man, we just need another seat back here. Oh, Subaru Brat. Yeah. It says empty. Uh, I don't think it works. I just put a gallon in it. Isn't it awesome? I love it. There's definitely ants back here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think Charles is more excited about it than anybody. Oh yeah, Charles is hype, man. How's it going, man? Hey, good. man, how you doing? <laughs> Everything's holding up good back here. Good. good. We need to have another root beer challenge. Yeah, like another... You can sit back here and hold, hold it. Watch your, head, your head, man. Oh, no. Watch your head. Uh, yeah, we need a, a drive shaft seal and a transmission seal. I'm not sure where we're gonna get them. Hey, good news. The uh, the output shaft for the transmission doesn't seem to be pouring. Like, you remember last time no, we it was parked drip, drip, and drip, it drip, already drip. had a puddle? It, maybe be... maybe the right drive line angle Fixed has... itself. Yeah. Maybe you need to check the level. We did. No, we, I already topped it off. <laughs> maybe I... I'll check it again. <laughs> <laughs> you check the engine right here. That's not a motorcycle engine. No, it's not. It's a it's a three cylinder in line. It's pretty cool. Move the radiator is. forward. We can get an in line four. Yeah. Would they call this a bonnet? Yeah, we're gonna have a look under the bonnet. A little crusty. But that's There's all right. the starter. Yeah. Wow, dude, it's all right there. Uh, oh. Back, oh my goodness. Weight Over reduction. Weight reduction. But luckily, we can we can make a new one if we had to. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, that's the there's, transmission. There's the coil. It's cute, man. Oh my gosh! It's itty bitty. Like my, literally, my fist is wider than the gearbox. Huh? Oh. Somebody undercoated it because there's rubber spray on there. Man, y'all are just having all kinds of fun without me. No, man, we're just 
We were just gonna surprise you, you know? I'm surprised. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I started blowing the horn when I saw it. Yeah, I, I like, know. Ah! <laughs> we were like, oh no. Uh, I saw it. We can turn it into our recovery rig, dude. We can build like a little, a shell for, uh, for the back here. We can build a pull out drawer for tools and like a vice mount. We can turn it into a rollback if we wanted to. I say we uh, just make it road legal. Yes. Yes. That's uh, a great place to start. Vehicle? Let us know in the comments what you want to see us do with the uh, 92 uh, Mitsubishi mini truck. I love it. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future build updates on this thing, on our trophy cart, on our cross cart, on uh, our mini bikes and go-karts, everything else. <laughs> Mighty mids. Check the mighty mids. Okay, and uh, visit our website, cars-cameras.com. Pick up some merchandise. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching again, and we'll catch you next time.